One of the key aims of our project was to improve access to clean drinking water. The day after our welcome ceremony we set off to familiarise the group with some aspects of life and survival in the village. You look at my sister. <laughs> Most tools are in short supply in Alahita, except machetes. We visited one of the permanent drinking water springs, Kwangahum. The concrete structure is an abandoned well installed in the 1960s, broken one month later and never used since. A salient lesson in how past efforts to provide development aid have often not succeeded. To achieve vitrification. How hot would the ovens? Back at the community house, it is time to put some engineering know-how to work on the problems and opportunities. Following Graham's previous visit, he designed a simple pump that could be built by the villagers with minimal tools and components that could be purchased in WeWAC. Before the students could teach the villagers how to make the pump, they had to learn themselves. An important contribution that environmental engineers can make to establishing a sustainable water supply is to investigate and understand how the local water cycle works. In particular, the role of subsurface flow of water was investigated by drilling observation wells. Careful measurements of the topography were made using instruments appropriate to the situation. Electricity to charge batteries was definitely in short supply, so manual tools were favoured. Apart from investigating the physical aspects of water, we also investigated the social aspects by observing practice and holding community meetings. Separate meetings were held for women. After consulting with the village leaders and landowners, we got agreement to conduct tests and install a hand pump at one of the key drinking water springs. It was vital that our work did not jeopardise the spring, which serviced several hundred villages. At every opportunity, we involved the villagers in the tasks that we undertook. Come down, but come down. Qualitative assessments of soil types were conducted to help interpret the hydrogeology. We got water already? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. As part of the wider investigations of groundwater hydrology, we conducted a simple yield test on the well. This involved drilling observation wells and making careful measurements of water levels when the water level in the well was rapidly decreased. Following our tests, we decided to install the hand pump on the abandoned well, which required some modifications. Back at the community house, it was time to test and refine the student-built pump. Full of confidence, the students set about teaching the villagers how to make a pump. <coughs> the 
The next day it was time to install and test the pump. A mixture of traditional and modern materials were used. The main aim being to end up with something the villagers could maintain themselves. It's to keep it from rubbing and yeah. At last, the moment of truth. The plunger was inserted into the cylinder. <laughs> and then there was flowing water, produced by the efforts of the traditional water gatherers, the women of the village. <laughs> Some more bush engineering and the installation was finished. Nine months later, we were told the pump is still working.